Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is March 6, 2019. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. Okay, so very, very quickly here. I've had some people ask me with regards to Marvin G. Miller, which is the person you are looking at their mugshot right now um, in the video. And this is something that people have been asking me about recently. Uh, Marvin ended up spending 365 days in county jail in Broward County, Florida, because he decided that he was going to start floating around some fake financial instruments, including a promissory note where he attempted to try to follow after Harvey Dent's footsteps and purchase a BMW, a brand new BMW, mind you, from a dealership with a fake promissory instrument or financial instrument. As a result of this, he was, of course, um, uh, had charges filed on him in addition to several other fake financial instruments that he had been trying to pass, uh, including checks and um, some instruments through the bank. Now, uh, Marvin's judgment information is right here. I am going to be linking it in the description area of this video. This is uh, from the Circuit Court Judge of the 18th Judici Judicial uh, circuit for Broward County, Florida. This will give you the actual judgment with regards to Marvin G. Miller uh, and the plea deal that he took. Now, I say that because he had originally been charged with several counts of uh, uttering forged uh, and fraudulent financial instruments. Um, but in order to get the plea deal on two of these felonies, um, they worked out a situation with him apparently where he was adjudicated guilty of count two and count three of these. In addition to that, Marvin has some other outstanding things that had occurred, including, but not limited to, throwing a brick through the window of a vehicle that someone was actually in. Um, so there's a history here of uh, activity that is not real healthy from the standpoint of where Marvin is. I wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of what the judgment ended up being, what uh, the plea deal was exactly. I am not totally certain of. I do know that there were some things that were dismissed that ordinarily would not have been because they wanted uh, these two felonies to be pled guilty to, which he did. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on this case just to make sure nothing else pops up. I will be keeping an eye on his YouTube channel, in which will also be in the description area of this video so you can take a look if you'd like. Uh, you can see that there are, the sentencing information is on here, the special provisions information is on here. So please, if you have the time and you're interested in this, um, take a look at the link in the description below this video for this information. This was recorded on January 10th of 2019. I just got the information last week. Thank you to the person that sent that to me, by the way. Uh, so this was the first opportunity that I've really had to give you guys an update on this, and I know you've been waiting for it, so my apologies for taking some extra time. Um, again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section, uh, or you can email me at virgotriad at protonmail.com, but right now, this is the only information that I've got, and to my knowledge, this has closed out this deal, with the exception of the fact that... Uh, I would imagine that if he continues to make the videos that he's making with regards to these supposed TDA accounts and continues to ask for donations as he is currently doing and continues to uh, fill out and file and use and circulate financial uh, instruments that are fraudulent, he will see the inside of a jail yet again. It doesn't seem as though Marvin has actually learned his lesson, unfortunately. Um, let's hope that's not the case and he stops real soon. Otherwise, you'll be hearing me talk about Marvin G. Miller and uh, Broward County and the state of Florida probably again. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.